Good evening, Facebook family and friends. I'm Kathy Novicki, and today is July 9th, and it is day 45 of my 90-day Facebook Live Champions Over Cancer Challenge. And it, Jay and I have shaken up the routine today. It is uh, Sunday. Yes, I worked yesterday, it was Saturday. We left very early this morning because we had relatives that came to the East Coast that we don't see very often. And so we had to come up and see them and visit and laugh and made new memories. It was a wonderful time. Although we were on the coast, but we couldn't get to the water because there were a lot of people here. So. We are staying overnight, which is very exciting because it's spontaneous. Well, not too spontaneous, but the staying overnight part was. And when you have children, ours are in their 20s now, but you don't get away much. And so this is really, really exciting when you're able to just get in the car and go. They're home watching the dogs. So... That's just, that's just a great opportunity and we took it and we are in one of our favorite places also. So what, you know, what better, how much better could it get maybe tomorrow when I walk on the beach and, and put my toes in the water and look for shells, seashells. But this opportunity presented itself and so we did it and we had a great to have the great day and you know bonding with family and friends I completed a coaching group today we had been together for nine months once an, an hour once a week and I got to know these ladies and see their struggles and see how they they worked through them and the encouragement that they they gave me and the things that I learned from them and how they supported me and they were just they're just wonderful strong wonderful I said that already women and I encourage you to um, to look we had somebody did a screenshot of all four of us and it's so it's so funny we had so, our, our last call was so great and it's just that's just part of the day I mean I'm, I'm tired because we've run all day but you know we we had so much laughter and so so much love and the Sun and the surf and bottom line the best the best of all is that I'm still alive to appreciate it and I have so many other people and other places that I have so much gratitude for for helping me get through cancer in my life and for supporting my family and encouraging us and keeping us in their thoughts and there's so much there's just so much more to cancer than just having surgery and getting chemotherapy and having radiation it's the people that you work with um, that take care of you during the whole course and their support mentally and emotionally of you not as well as physically boy this hair needs a trim really badly Marlene if you're out there call me um because <laughs> obviously I'm not going to be home tomorrow, until late tomorrow uh, but you know it's it's these it's the the times that you make memories and the people that you connect with and the mindfulness 
in, in the, you know, being in that moment and realizing what you have and what you don't need and what is really important. And if shaking up the routine is what needs to be done to make you look at things from a different angle, then shake up that routine. And if you can't shake, get on a trampoline and just bounce a little bit, do anything, you know? It's, it's just so interesting to me, diff the perspectives that I hear from different people. And, and when you think about it, when you sit down and you think about it later on, it's like, okay, well, yeah, that, and well, absolutely that. And all it takes is give someone a compliment, you know? And you don't have to like a person. You don't have to work with a person. You don't even have to know a person. Hold the door. I mean, it's those little things in life that add up. They add up and add up and add up. And, and you don't have to go out of your way. You don't have to do something monumental. But it's kindness. And it's being human and caring for other people and paying things forward, paying forward opportunities that were given to me, that were given to my family, that I maybe needed at that time or um, I, was, I was looking for and doing the right thing and passing something on, passing on your knowledge passing on your experience, um, whatever it is, to hopefully make someone else's life a little bit better, maybe a little easier, or a little simpler. And all it might be is just a smile and a good morning. How are you today? You know, is there anything I can do for you? Can I hold the door? But, um, so, it was, it was really good, and I wanted to just pass that on, because I think that there's a lot that goes on in the world today that is so loud and so violent, in my personal opinion, and so many people with a Opinions, and I have opinions too, but you know, when it comes down to it, we all breathe the air around us. And in some places, the air quality is worse than others. And in some places, the living is better than others. But the oxygen percentage in the air is the same on this planet all the way around. I hope so. I hope that's a fact. So we all breathe the same air. So why do we treat each other differently? We all need to breathe. We all need to sleep. We all need to eat. We all need to take care of what we eat. We're human beings. And so how much work is it to be decent to one another and pay it forward? Because everyone has a talent, everyone has a gift that they could share, um, a skill or experience, something. Pay it forward. Be a good person. That's all you have to do. And I've been very, very lucky in my that my profession, my nursing profession, has allowed me to touch many people's lives physically as well as hopefully positively and I have experienced now the other side of that bed rail which has been good and bad which is where Champions Over Cancer came from that whole, that whole mission of helping cancer free individuals move forward in, 
fit, you know, to come to grips or find help for issues that are still hanging over their head and to give them the ability to look at what they have now with the second chance and to go forward because being alive is a beautiful thing and some days it, it you know you're like uh, but really being above the grass is a better deal so everybody take a deep breath and just help your neighbor do something good once a day twice a day maybe if you're feeling really 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 I don't know, whatever. So, from the green room, where you usually see me in the blue room, I will be back there tomorrow night, and that will be Monday, which will be day number 46. And we are on the second half of my Champions Over Cancer Facebook Live 90 Day Challenge. And that's very exciting. It's been, it's been difficult. Um, but when I finish, every night when I finish one, it's like, okay, I showed up and I did it. This one was good. This one was okay. This one could have been better. This one I nailed. And now we're shaking it up again. So, for Champions Over Cancer... And Kathy and the baby. I hope everyone is home, tucked in, safe, and well. I'm going to say good night. I will see you tomorrow. Don't know what time yet. And